Good evening, you're watching the news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today Law 5 for this year, accrediting an agreement between the government of Bahrain and the government of Tajikistan regarding encouraging and protecting investment, which was signed in Manama on May 28, 2014. His Majesty also issued three decrees for this year, which are Decree 4 assigning the Minister of Health to be in charge of private health institutions, Decree 5 assigning the Minister of Health as the Minister in Charge before the Cabinet and Legislative Authority regarding the National Health Regulatory Authority. His Majesty also issued Decree 7 reorganizing the Board of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority under the Chairmanship of the Labor Minister with the membership of eight Board members for a four-year term. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Air Base today a number of Bahrain Defense Force officers and personnel upon their return to the Kingdom from Yemen after performing their noble duty within the Arab Coalition. Present were His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force Major, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in addition to the Minister of Defense Affairs and BDF Chief of Staff. His Majesty the King presented the returning BDF officers and personnel with medals of appreciation for their performance of national duties, commending their efforts alongside the rest of the BDF men who achieved many accomplishments and succeeded in completing their assigned tasks with high morale and efficiency. His Majesty the King confirmed they are a source of pride and appreciated the BDF's significant and continuous participation in Operation Decisive Storm and Restoring Hope within the Saudi-led Arab Coalition in support of the legitimacy and sovereignty of Yemen and in protection of the Arab nation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived today on an official visit to Sochi City in the Russian Federation Republic, during which His Majesty will meet the Russian President Vladimir Putin to discuss the close relations between the two countries and people and explore ways to develop these relations in various fields, as well as the latest regional and international developments. His Majesty the King was received by Sochi City Mayor Anatoly Pakhomov, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Russian Federation, Ahmed Abdurrahman Saati. Ambassador of the Russian Federation to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Vagiv Gerayev, and officials. Earlier, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa departed on an official visit to Sochi City in the Russian Federation Republic, during which His Majesty will meet the Russian President Vladimir Putin to discuss the close relations between the two countries and people and explore ways to develop these relations in various fields, as well as the latest regional and international developments. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in addition to senior kingdom officials, saw off His Majesty the King upon departure. His Majesty the King is accompanied by a high-level delegation that includes the Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, 
the personal representative of His Majesty the King, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the President of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Media Affairs Advisor of His Majesty the King Nabil Al Hamar, the Minister of Energy, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, the Head of Royal Protocols, Major General Khalifa Al Fadala, the Personal Secretary of His Majesty the King Hamad bin Ali Al Kaabi, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Russian Federation, Ahmed Abdul Rahman Al Saati, and the commander of Sakhir Air Base, Major General Pilot, Mohammed bin Bahsin al Musallam. The Kingdom of Bahrain and Russia enjoy deep-rooted, excellent ties and joint cooperation, and the ongoing visit of His Majesty the King is set to enhance relations in all fields. More in this report. The current visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Russia to meet the Russian President Vladimir Putin at the Black Sea Resort city of Suchi comes in line with the solid relations between the two countries and the constant meetings of their leaderships. Such visit reflects the two nations' keen interest to consolidate bilateral relations and develop joint cooperation in all fields. The visit assures mutual firm supportive stances towards all procedures taken by the two countries in order to combat all types of terrorism as well as maintain regional security and stability. It comes at a time where regional balance is required in order to reinforce Gulf Russian dialogue as Russia is taking a vital role in many regional political, diplomatic and military issues such as the Syrian conflict and the fight against Daesh terrorist group. This is in addition to Russia's influential role in regards to the balatant Iranian interference in the internal affairs of Gulf Cooperation Council countries. The meeting between the two leaders is also expected to discuss other regional issues such as the situation in Yemen and Iraq. Russia and Bahrain look to consolidate cooperation in the fields of energy and economy, in addition to military and political coordination. The visit is also expected to enhance trade exchange and increase Bahrain's benefit from Russia's exports, such as natural gas, in addition to activating joint partnership and agreements and increasing investment between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Ghadabi Palace today a number of senior members of the royal family and state officials. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of supporting regional security and stability and warned of the dangers that threaten Gulf security. He reiterated the necessity to join efforts to overcome these challenges and confirmed that all Gulf Cooperation Council countries stand united against all threats which include terrorism. In this regard, the Prime Minister noted the Saudi-led Arab coalition as a model for Gulf and Arab cooperation and facing foreign conspiracies. His Royal Highness said that the world is facing an unsteady political and economic situation which requires more awareness and efforts to preserve the homeland security and stability. He added that challenges should not affect social cohesion and coherence, calling on the need to increase efforts for the best interests of the country and the people. The Prime Minister said that despite the current economic situation, the development process is ongoing across the Kingdom, especially the services, housing, educational, health and infrastructure projects, in order to provide the best living standards for citizens. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received Tariq Dhabiya Palace 
Chairman and members of the Board of Directors of Awal Theatre, as well as representatives of delegations participating in the 9th Awal Theatre Festival. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of arts in preserving the civilized image of nations and expressed pride in GCC arts and artists. During the meeting, His Royal Highness stressed the importance of holding meetings between GCC artists in order to enhance GCC joint cultural action. He also lauded the major role played by Awal Theatre in enhancing the arts field in the Kingdom. For their part, Chairman and members of Awal Theatre expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his constant support to the artistic movement in the Kingdom, which contributed in developing the Bahraini arts field on both regional and international levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa inaugurated today the Wadi as Sail Mall on the occasion of the 48th anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. Upon arrival, accompanied by his son, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness was received by the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi, and senior officials. His Royal Highness then unveiled the commemorative plaque and toured the mall. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of trade projects in developing the national economy through attracting a number of regional, GCC and international investments to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness noted that the widespread of, of malls reflects the growth of the retail sector in the Kingdom in order to provide consumers with all their needs and requirements. He also noted Bahraini Cater's ability to manage and operate such vital sectors. The BDF Commander-in-Chief expressed his congratulations to all BDF affiliates regarding its 48th anniversary and expressed his pride for BDF's role of maintaining the Kingdom's national gains. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's keenness to develop the BDF through keeping up with the latest developments of the military field. His Royal Highness held the BDF's remarkable efforts alongside the Saudi-led Arab coalition in Yemen regarding restoring peace and stability in the country in addition to the BDF's participation in maintaining regional and international security and stability. His Royal Highness expressed his appreciation for launching such an economic project, which reflects the BDF's keenness to participate in the development of the economic march in the kingdom and wish the kingdom further progress and prosperity. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting today where the Council rejected the decision of the European Parliament that neglected the huge efforts that Bahrain exerted in the political, economic and social reform and the role it played in enhancing and protecting human rights under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Council approved the report regarding civil and commercial procedures law. The Council then agreed to hold a celebration next meeting on the occasion of the National Action Charter to celebrate the accomplishments achieved by Bahrain under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. <laughs> 